tired of hearing flat earther theories? Hit them with one of these next time they question Earth's shape. The Earth's spherical shape can be easily observed by the shadow it casts on the Moon's equally round surface. The shadow is always curved at point during the lunar phases. Earth's round edges can also be seen in the horizon. Objects nearing it seem to appear and disappear depending on the direction they are moving. We can see this effect when we observe ships in the ocean. If we were to see the horizon from above, we would also be able to see Earth's surface curve at the edges. The Earth's circular form also determines the time zone differences we experience. Time zones are a result of Earth's rotation on its axis. Its spherical shape allows for this when one side is exposed to sunlight while the other side remains dark. This would not be possible over a flat surface. We can also observe the properties of other planets in our solar system. According to Futurism, planets' spherical shapes allow for an equal distribution of gravity. If Earth were a disk-like body, its gravity would pull us at different degrees depending on where we stand. Gravity cannot be distributed evenly on non-spherical surfaces. Disclaimer: We can't promise these facts will convince flat earthers, but hey, it's worth a shot, right? What other cool things can we see in space? Anyone for fishing on Enceladus? Enceladus, one of Saturn's moons, might be home to some form of subsea alien life. Might being the key word. Scientists looking at data pulled from NASA's Cassini spacecraft may have found how Saturn's ocean moon Enceladus remains geologically active. The research suggests that tidal currents flow through the moon's porous core, where the friction between rocks generate heat that warms the ocean. According to the European Space Agency, this tidal heating is primarily caused by the gravitational pull of Saturn. NASA previously said this particular moon has all the ingredients needed for life to exist. In 2008, the space agency speculated that the deep sea vent theory could apply to life on Enceladus. When applied to Earth, this suggests life originated from chemical, heat, and tidal interactions beneath the seabed. India has discovered a new planet. The Financial Times reports that a team of scientists in India have discovered a sub-Saturn-sized exoplanet. The planet's sun-like star is reportedly 600 light-years away from Earth. The planet has a mass of around 27 Earths, while its radius is six times that of Earth. Scientists used the PRL Advanced Radio Velocity Abu Sky Search Spectrograph to measure the mass of a planet traveling around a star. The surface temperature of the planet is approximately 600 degrees Celsius, which makes it virtually uninhabitable. Distance-wise, it is seven times closer to its sun-like star in comparison to Earth and its sun. It takes around 19.5 days to complete one rotation around its sun-like star. The Economic Times reports that the scientists believe elements such as ice, silicates, and iron content make up around 60 to 70 percent of the total mass of the planet, based on the calculations of the mass and radius. Financial Express also reports this type of discovery is crucial in our understanding of how these types of planets are formed. NASA begins search for more Earth-like planets. NASA's new satellite is looking for Earth's doppelganger, and not the transdimensional kind. Planets orbiting other stars are termed exoplanets. The term applies to planets of all sizes from Earth and Mars to Jupiter. NASA's new spacecraft will search exoplanets outside our solar system. Called the Transitioning Exoplanet Survey Satellite, the spacecraft will look for planets which transit in front of a star, causing a dip in its brightness. Repeats of this pattern may indicate a habitable planet supporting life. NASA says the mission will cover an area 400 times greater than observed by the Kepler Space Telescope. Tests will look at 26 different sectors of space over a two-year period. According to the space agency, tests will observe stars up to 100 times brighter than previously covered. Hubble finds Icarus star. Here's a discovery 9 billion years in the making. Icarus, or LS1, is 9 billion years from Earth. Hubble saw it because of gravitational lensing, where distant starlight is bent and magnified via the gravity of a passing galaxy. What was sighted came from a time when the universe was at 30% of its current stage. The star is believed to be a luminous blue supergiant, similar in size to our sun, but twice as hot. Researchers knew it wasn't a supernova because it wasn't exploding. Astronomers also tested its cluster for a dark matter theory. 
this posits that primordial black holes constituted much of the early universe. This wasn't shown, however, as the Hubble telescope would have observed different light patterns from the star if black holes passed in front of Icarus. More space junk to fall to Earth There's a whole lot of junk about to enter Earth's atmospheric trunk. According to Space.com, the rocket body of an Indian Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle is expected to fall to Earth around April 3rd. It weighs 907 kilograms. Part of a European Space Agency satellite is also expected to drop to Earth on the same day. Fortune reports that Kazakh spacecraft's Flock 2E3 and 2E6 are expected to plummet to Earth on Wednesday and on Friday this week. Popular Science reports that 200 parts of space debris fell to Earth in 2014 and 400 fell in 2016. Most land in the Pacific Ocean. The only person known to have been hit by falling debris is Lottie Williams. She was walking in a park in Tulsa, Oklahoma in 1997 when she was struck by a six-inch chunk of metal traveling at a low speed from behind. Scientists believe it came from a NASA second-stage Delta rocket. Luxury Space Hotel to blast off in 2021. To infinity and where poor people can't afford to go. Startup Orion Span announced on Thursday it plans to build a luxury space hotel to launch in late 2021 and start accepting guests by 2022. A 12-day stay at Aurora Station will begin at $9.5 million. The space station will be roughly the same size as a large private jet cabin. It will be 43.5 feet long by 14.1 feet wide and have a pressurized volume of 5,650 cubic feet. It will orbit in an altitude of 200 miles. For comparison, the International Space Station is 357 feet long and has an internal pressurized volume of 32,333 cubic feet. The Aurora Station will be able to accommodate four paying guests and two crew members. Orion Span is also planning to add new modules to the space hotel over time. Long term, the company says it hopes to sell actual space and new modules for living or subleasing. 